teaching you how to simplify powers of i. And before we get started, let's talk about what i is. i stands for imaginary. And what i is, is the square root of negative 1. Now let's go back in time. What does a square root mean? How do you simplify a square root? It means what number times itself makes that. And as you can see, there are no two numbers that you can multiply that makes negative 1 that are the same. Because 1 times 1 is 1, and negative 1 times negative 1 is also 1. So nothing works. Because the only way to make negative 1 is negative 1 times positive 1. Because that's true, we, call, we, we make up a uh, special variable for it called i. And that just stands for the square root of negative 1. So the square root, so i to the first power is basically just the square root of negative 1. Real simple. Now i squared can actually be solved because what is i squared? Well, it's the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. Which, if you're multiplying two numbers that are the same, the square root of a square becomes the number. Because think about what's happening here. Negative 1 squared, square rooted, becomes the number. It's just negative 1. Let's do this again. i to the third. Well, i to the third is i times i squared. i is the square root of negative 1. And as we just did a minute ago, i squared is negative 1. So, I have the square root of negative 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1 times the square root of negative 1, which is i. And if I really want to make this simple, it's negative i. If your algebra is pretty good, this shouldn't be hard for you. If this is not making sense to you, then I would just recommend you just memorize these things. Let me walk you through this one one more time. i times i squared is the same as i to the third. i is the square root of negative 1, and i squared is negative 1. So I end up with negative 1 times i, which is negative i. Now i to the fourth is the cool one because i to the fourth is i squared times i squared. And we just did before, we know that i squared is negative 1, so we're basically saying negative 1 times negative 1, which is 1. i to the 4th is the key to all of this. i to the 4th is equal to 1, which means anytime I have an i to the 4th, I can just put a 1 there. So let's try a problem with this. i to the 5th. Well, i to the 5th is i to the 4th times i, which is i to the 4th, we just learned, is 1. 1 times i is i, or the square root of negative 1. i to the 23rd, well, that's i to the 4th times i to the 4th, blah, 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 blah. How many of those? Five groups of those. You're going to have a 1 times 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 i to the third. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times i to the third is negative 1 because i to the third is the same as negative 1, so i to the 23rd is negative 1. Now let me dumb this down for you. What you want to do, if you're uh, on my math team, you'll you hear me say this all the time, you want to cast out 4s. How many 4s can I take from 23? I can take 5 groups of 4. So basically, i to the 23rd is the same as i to the 3rd because I can throw out anything that makes powers of 4 because they make 1. So basically, when I see i to the 23rd, I should be thinking i to the 3rd, which is negative 1. Good luck with this trick.